All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another EFHT video. Um, I feel like I kind of have to look look down because the camera's not looking at me. There we go. Anyway, welcome back to another EFHT video. I'm Colton. We're gonna be rigging up the bass rod, my spinning rod, it's my main bass rod. Um, the other bass rod I use, I like this rod as well. But we're just going to be focused on the spinning rod today. Need a new line on the bait caster. So, on this spinning rod, the uh, reel is a Quantum QL3, which is a really old reel. And it's just got a Shakespeare reverb because my old rod snapped. Big fish, you know. <laughs> we're going to be rigging this up today. So, we're going to start out with my hook box. And uh, let's get into it. All right, so we got the hook box out here. All right, now real quick. All right, so we got the uh, four out. I just bought some more of these four out worm things, <laughs> worm, worm hooks, and then with the uh, bench ink. And we're gonna be putting some of those. Probably this, which is just watermelon. I think so. Right. I'm not really sure what color it is. It's the watermelon. This is a Senko by Yum. This is a Senko by Yum. These are by Big Baits. They're in the clearance section. So, well, we're going to buy that one. First of all, we got to get this line off here. And, uh, this line is not 50. It's not like it's 25 pounds. So, I don't have to cut it off. Because, you can just bite this line. There we go. Bit the line off. So we're gonna be tying a uni knot. Great, good knot. Simple knot. And it stays on, which is the best part. My favorite part about a knot, I'm be honest. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy to get a lot of tag if you never tied one of these. <laughs> Because it works well. Works great. Alright, well, this clearly isn't going to be too hard to pull off. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to try that uni knot. So we're going to do the uni knot here. Actually, we need a little more line. This time, apparently we're going to leave way more tag. Alright. Now we're going to pull the union knot in. And start making the knot. There we go. Slide down to the hook. Pull that tight. Pull your main line tight. Oh yeah, you might need to lick it. But there we go. Uni knots on. Bass, just remember, bass aren't like bluegill. They don't like tag at all. So, yep, there we go. A little extra line right there. And we're all good to go. Now we're going to rig up the sink over doing Texas rig here. Weightless, obviously. And I think we're going to go with this. Because it's still got, whoa, that smells good. That's still got a lot of scent in it, so it's going to be great. So if you don't know how to do this, first of all, make sure your Senko isn't ripped or anything. Then, take your hook, put it in the middle of the head right here. And then there you go, pull it around. 
it's not quite that simple but this is a very simple now get that over the head rotate it a lot of people like the uh, head be in there you don't want it to look like that if it looks like this that means you haven't done it right there you go that's where you want to do it. you want to get it so it's on that shank on that little thing that sticks out and then you find where your hook slot is right here you don't have to go in the hook slot but that's where it's going to end up and you can put it on maybe pull it all the way through maybe don't kind of a personal preference So, yeah, you don't want that to come off. Uh, um, likewise, you can put a piece of, like, really large fluorocarbon through you. That's not in. This will put it back a little more. Now we're in. Yep. If you just end up pulling it too much, you can tear it, the uh, Senko. So just be wary of that, and then you want to make sure you get it nice and straight, bring it down. All personal preference, there you go, you're good to go. So that's what we're going to be doing for that one, not really sure what we're going to be doing for the other rod. We're going to end up doing something, but you need to buy a line for that one, which means, boom, not buying line for a while. Because a line for full price is expensive if you've never bought a line before. Another great thing, if you leave this hook a little out and you need to take your rod somewhere and keep your hook on, you can hook that. Some people don't like it to hook it on their eyelet. I don't think it's really a problem. Don't do it on the eyelet, do it on the little ping that peg that holds the eyelet. And that's going to be it for this video. You guys can look up how to tie a uni knot or any other knot that you guys might need to know. There are tutorials everywhere for these knots. So, you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. And they'll show you much better examples with really large rope, but I can show you the bases of a uni knot real quick. Here. So, that's rope for you. You've never seen rope. I don't know who's never seen rope, but I'm, these ones have uh, loops on the end. If you don't know how to tie those, that's a surprise. They're really simple. And they stay put forever. There are lots of knots in this rope. All right. What you're gonna do is you successfully eyed it through. So I need something to tie it up to now. I'm gonna tie it up to my tripod stand. So I need to pull over the tripod. See you guys. You can see the leg of the tripod right there. That's what we're gonna do. Just from my perspective. So it's gonna be backwards. So take your you got it through the eyelet. Now you're gonna pinch this. It's gonna be a lot easier to hold it like this, especially when you're doing it yourself. And you're gonna make an overhand knot. You're gonna pinch that too. And then you're gonna wrap it around both little loops and the wire. And that's how you're gonna do your uni knot. You're gonna pull it. Pull it down. You can really cinch. This one doesn't have that many loops. But you can see that thing is not going anywhere. Especially if you get it real tight. Yep, not going nowhere. Perfect. 
That's how you tie a uni knot. Obviously, you want to do more wraps. If you have really big line for big fish, you only need to do about four to six wraps. And if you got really small, you got more normal line, size line, you can do like, you should do six to ten to help you hold on. Yeah, this knot is really good at staying on. And even when you want it to come off, you can't get it. I'm going to have to get pliers. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did like, oh yes, I do wrap my ropes like this. Well, not all of my ropes, some of my ropes like this. This is a longer rope, so if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton in making these videos. I've actually posted a lot more recently. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know for a while I did not post from December to March because I couldn't really make anything of it. Too bad because... I know a lot of people like to watch the channel. And I like to make videos for you guys. So, there's your rope all coiled up. <laughs> You've never seen someone do that. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching so much. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me a ton in making these videos. Uh, I like to make these videos. When you guys like these videos, I know which videos you want to watch. I can also look at how many views, so I know what people really, want, really, really want to watch. Really often. So it's really great to get all this feedback from like likes and comments and things like that. It's great. Helps me out a ton of making these videos. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned at least how to rig up maybe your first bass fishing rig. Or maybe you've done this a thousand times and just wanted to watch the video. See how someone else did it. Maybe they did it different. Maybe I did it different from you. But it probably ended up doing the same thing. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.